Klaus, dude. Klaus Camel, Lunar C. Live September 27th, 2017. 2017. Camel Live. Whoa. I just realized. Yeah, we're doing a 2017. Uh... Oh, no. Wait, what? Is it this first video? Is it this first one with 2.8 million? I, th I think it is. At the Hippodrome. Okay, so this is from 1977, not uh, 2017, right? Recent live recording. Right, so 1976, okay. Uh, isn't camel related to yes? I don't know. Is it? Is Camel related? Yes. Let's see. We have Andrew Latimer on guitars. We have Peter Bardens on keyboards. Andy Ward on drums, percussions. Richard Sinclair on bass. And Mel Collins on saxophone. I'm not. Uh, I'm not seeing any uh, yes names there. Let me know if you know any other information. But this is a video, so we're going to be jumping into this one. So. Let's jump on into uh, some Camel Dude live at the Hippodrome in London, UK. Y'all can read it. Here we go. Lunar Sea. Oh, for those who aren't, dude, for those who are only listening, this is September 22nd, 1977. There you go. The song is Lunar Sea. Here we go. Yo, real quick, let me tell you about Patreon. Patreon.com slash John Slop. Early access to all these videos, full album reactions, full movie reactions. Think about that. Let's jump back into the reaction. So far, it's giving like rush a little bit. Like, yes, uh, I'm getting a little bit of like Xanadu. Uh, let's just let's just keep it going, dude. This is awesome. I love where this is going already.
Yes, dude, pop off.
Ooh. Hey, dude, that was Camel with the song Lunar Sea. Nice riffs, dude. Really reminded me of um, ah, just a more progressive rock version of like Goose. Who, who's been around for some goose in our live streams? They're, they're a more recent band. They do kind of like a more funk, kind of uh, long form, uh, like progressive rock funk songs. This reminded me of that a little bit, but um, this definitely felt like more 70s progressive alternative, a little bit like metal inspired almost. Um. And yeah, I think that was a clarinet that was being played there. It sounded real good. I was surprised. I haven't heard a clarinet in uh, this kind of setting before. This was a first for me. Wow. Uh, it was a bassoon? Oh. Thank you for clarifying. Ding, 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 ding. I was, I was, I was great, dude. Camel never disappoints. It was actually a soprano sax, I think, now after looking. Uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's actually see. Uh, tenor sax. Uh, most tenor sax designs are pretty much the same as a big sax, you know, with the, with the loop. That one was just like a straight straight tube so let's actually look at what a clarinet looks like dude do, do. so clarinets are played more like aiming down okay um it looked kind of like a clarinet but not entirely it didn't really have like the design of a clarinet it looked like a it honestly looked like a saxophone dude it had all the different buttons on it now let's look up bassoon now bassoon Bassoon. I don't think that was a bassoon either. Bassoon looks like a freaking, like, samurai sword, dude. No, I don't think any of us are right, dude. Was that an oboe? Could be an oboe, you know. You can, you all can look at look at this with me. See what I'm looking at. Dude, it does kind of look like an oboe. You know, last test is to see what an oboe sounds like. Oboe sound test. Give it to me. Instrument. Give me that oboe. Skip ahead a little bit. Certain areas thicker and certain areas th higher octaves. To make a sound on the oboe, you have to play. I think that might have been it. Not sure though. We can go back and just like look. Get as clear of a picture as we can. It's like so hard because it's like gold, dude. It's so gold and so big at the end. It has like a flared end. Just, just missing. Just missing. Uh, it's pretty similar. Anyways, we'll let y'all. Think that one over. We're going to move on to the next song. Thank you so much, Klaus, for that one. That was an amazing performance, dude. I loved all the creative little twists we had. Uh, yo, Allotrope, welcome. You are here. How are you? Uh, yeah, so thank you so much, Klaus. That was awesome. Love Camel. Uh, so... Uh, moving on into the next one, dude.